What's up guys, my name is Talks of W and today I'm going to do a review on the Halo 5 Guardians Master Chief figure from Playout Sky. Now, this is um, one of my latest uh, pre-orders as I mentioned in the previous uh, Playout Sky collection video. But, and I'm happy to say, because uh, I got it, which is really good and surprising and it came really nice now so that's a bonus so this is uh, the box that came in it's a beautiful piece of artwork on the box itself I apologize if it isn't that good on camera but for, like you can check on online for like better quality um, images and everything but the box itself is absolutely stunning I mean I know it's a box but it's just really good artwork of the box Got a really nice image of a Master Chief here, and then got the side, and also here. Apologies if you can't see it, but that is the um, team of Cyrus with um, Spartan Locks team. And uh, right at the back, you sorry about that. You've got some like uh, images here where you could uh, how you could pose the chief, and then another. It's just a continuation of the art. Uh, that's really nice. And then you've got the Guardian in the middle. And I imagine that's where Spartan Lock is going to be. So it's going to be a nice form uh, rotation of um, of the uh, other. So I can't get my words out. Chief and Lock. So, so also in, inside we've got some good bio here of uh, the Chief himself. And then a little uh, bit of... Um, description of Halo 5 itself and then inside the box here behind the plastic in we've got on the left we've got instructions on how to assemble the, um, the accessories and then on the right you've got instructions to uh, um, to form the plastic um, display stand but also Square Enix have released a um, metal word display stand for better stand or something like that, I don't know. So without further doubt here is the chief himself. This is absolutely stunning figure. I mean I honestly hand to God it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, the articulation I really love. Yes um, there are a few pointers it's not perfect um, but it's just an absolutely gorgeous looking figure. Uh, yeah, it's just a really good figure. So, where should we start? Okay, so let's begin by um, the paint and sculpt work. So the paint is, I'll probably say, from my personal point of view, accurate to the game. It really is. Um, but if you're like a really hardcore Halo fan uh, from the game, I've, I suppose you could probably point it might not be. I don't know. But from my personal point of view, it looks accurate. Uh, the paint, the paintwork on the, on his gold visor, really good, really textured and detailed. It's got the uh, the lines of his visor, really nice. Uh, so all the shades of green, all very good. So, all very nice um paint as well. So the flaws I have with this guy, um, I suppose beginner point is the price I don't know what's going on with um, Playouts Car recently they are going really high up uh, really uh, more to the uh, to the um, US point of view uh, this I think in the US is about $150 and that is extremely expensive I mean they used to they're just increasingly going up and up and up um, I can remember like the Arkham Origins Batman, the Arkham Knight Batman, that was a hundred dollars, and so this is fifty dollars more, and yet this is nearly like the same height, sculpt and everything, and yet why is it fifty dollars more? Um, UK, yes, it's still expensive, eighty-five pound, it's quite a bit of a steep, but in all fairness, it's honestly a decent figure for your money. It's just. Uh, an explanation of why is it this price is just absolutely weird and uh, the other plot I really have is 
it's it's more of this it's, it's this plastic part of the crotch area is really fidgety and annoying when it comes to like the articulation of the legs. I apologize from being a bit I don't know, sorry if it's not coming right on camera. But it's just so ugh, weird and it's just all wrong and ugh, it's just annoying. But apart from those two, I don't think I have any other problems with this guy. Uh, so, let's get on with the accessories. Okay, so, standard packaging. He has two fist uh, hands. And then, and I'll just put them downwards because of the um, assault rifle. We have also two um, relax, relaxed, here we are, two relaxed hands. Sorry about that earlier. Um, for like gripping uh, the guns and also like you know sort of just like jazz like jazz hands if you want to call them uh, but oh and so of course without guns he'll need his um, like got the hands to holding his um, assault rifle and and his pistol I forgot the perfect halo minigun minigun oh, I've forgotten really sorry it begins with an M um, just clarify in the comments below if you would please, thank you. Uh but yeah, his two hold his two guns and of um with um two sides because uh, uh um in the previous um Halo figures he usually do no. No sorry about that, just ignore that part. Um but yeah, both sides, so uh, yeah, very nice, all very good detailed. And also this one comes with a um a another um helmet but oh, but with this time it's apologize if you can't see it but I mean you can just slightly see it. It's the correct visor and that's what happens when in within the main campaign of Halo 5. I don't want to spoil anything of how but you can imagine what but anyway but yeah, it's really nice detailed again. So yeah and then also as I mentioned his uh, pistol magnet gun I'm just going to stop with that, I'm really, um, but really nice detailed, I apologise, can't really see it, really good on camera, but yeah, really nice detailed, and of course, last but not least, his AR, vs his assault rifle, my first, I suppose, Halo figure with the assault rifle, and yeah, it really looks really nice, again, really good detailed, and uh, yes, and what you can see here, this is his uh, little peg where you come with the packaging to, you know, to pose up on his back or if you want his pistol to go on, on the side. So that's all the accessories you got. So just a quick rundown. This is really good poseable figure. I don't know much about uh, when it comes to different parts of the figure. I know a little bit. I, I, I want to go through them, but I don't want to bore you because I'm sure I lag a lot. But uh, let's just try do a quick thing because this video is coming up to about eight and a half minutes long. So just try to keep it as short as possible. So, so yeah, you've got advantage of joints. Uh, so good articulation within the arm. So it really comes out really nice and good. Um, uh, this what I notice here. Got a similar, very similar design to the Halo 2 Master Chief. Um, you know, the sort of bolt and F thing. It's not as hollow as the Arkham Knight, so that is one good point. Yes, it looks a little bit ugly, but far more better than the Arkham Knight. Whereas the Arkham Knight was hollow and rah, ugly. And good um, toss, um, good um, waist articulation, of course. So not loose, loose, but enough sort of movement to like get a really nice pose. You know, uh, you really have to balance with him, this guy. Um, but if you get in a good stand, he will stand for a good time. And uh, I say the head move joint is really good. Uh, you could all do whatever you want with the head. Uh, apologize, that's really amateurish. I really do apologize. Uh, good swivel within the fists and everything. Uh, so he's got a good uh, toss. Uh, torso movement and everything. The legs, they come out really good and far. Um, I say really good ratchet joint. He's got double joint knees. If I can do it. 
that's as far as the good I really can. But this part here, it does come out with it. If you just need to give it a bit of uh, adjustment, then it does come out and really. That does it's a nice bit of um, articulation there for you. And then, of course, again with his uh, boots, the foot, um, not much really, just to be ratchet stuff going up and down. And uh, yeah, really, that is my quick. Uh, review of a um, Halo 5 Master Chief. I apologise for my lack of knowledge of the um, figure movement and everything, but I just wanted to give you my guys my opinion of the figure as I got it, and I'm really glad I did buy it despite the little flaws. And yeah, it's really, as I say, it's a really good figure. Uh, I do recommend it. Um, I don't expect you all to buy it, you know, this is really expensive, but. Um, but yeah, so I do recommend it, and I think that really brings up this video to an end. So, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Keep an eye out for more content, and I uh, hope to maybe like a month or so get a spot unlock. So, I might do this like again, you know, give, give my quick and depth review of him. And uh, I've pre ordered, hopefully, it comes and everything. Um, the Arkham Knight. Nightwing, so that's really another looking forward figure I'm looking to, to like near the end of the year. But on the whole, keep an eye out for like um more content on this channel. And so give this video a thumbs up. And uh thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoy the rest of the day and take care. Goodbye.